Hey everyone, welcome to my Friday vlog. I hope everyone has had a good week. I have been sick, as you know, and um, I'm coming to you from my bedroom. I have been resting a lot today. I still have some pain in my ears and um, have been taking some been a drill and just been very very sleepy so uh this is just a laid back friday vlog my channel is all about being personal and so i'm sure you are all used to this um i don't profess to be a professional youtuber i profess to be a humble down-to-earth person who is real and i share things about myself and the world. So, basically this week has been just being sick. Um, wasn't able to work at all this week. Which means no paycheck next week. So, which leads me to the world as it is right now. A lot of people are suffering there was a press conference today on the coronavirus at the White House in the Rose Garden um, talking about vaccines that will become available soon, which is good, but no talk about stimulus. President Trump just said thank you and exited without no Q&A. Which leads me to believe that he just doesn't care about the American people anymore. He lost the election. He's not invested in anything anymore. He's just going to be waiting out the rest of his term and then he's going to go. Pelosi and Chuck Schumer have been talking she is now back to her 3.2 trillion package and refusing to back down. As you know, the Republicans are not going to even think about that type of package. To them, it's just way too much. So the bad news is, I don't think we're going to be seeing a stimulus package until 2021 which is really, really bad for everyone right now. I'm sorry this has turned political, but it's, it's part of what's going on this week. And it worries me for everybody. So many people are suffering. So many people are out of work. So many people can't put food on their table for their children and the government is still effing around playing politics not giving a damn about the american people that's exactly how i feel and i'm sure there are other people that feel that way with me it is just not right so i'm sorry everybody christmas is canceled new year's is canceled The rest of the year is going to go to pot. The way things are going, as far as coronavirus cases, they're escalating everywhere. They're even going up in Vermont now. Nobody is immune to this escalation. And the government doesn't care. And it pisses me off to no end. All I can say is, we need to just take care of ourselves as best we can. Um, I'm complaining that I won't have a paycheck next week. There are people who haven't had paychecks in weeks or months. I, I've been there in my lifetime, 
and I know how devastating that is. You don't know where you're going to be tomorrow. You don't know if you're going to have a place to live tomorrow because you haven't had a job in months. The government has been pissing around for months. They're not going to take care of us. That is obvious. And I am so, so sorry for all of you who are suffering. My thoughts and my prayers go out to everybody in the United States of America. It breaks my heart. On a lighter note, we've been doing some open mic nights this week with Shimmer Soul. And that has been a lot of fun. I definitely recommend that you subscribe to Shimmer Soul. S-H-I-M-M-E-R-S-O-U-L. She is a wonderful, down-to-earth, humble little country girl. And she sings like an angel. I love her voice. She has that lower range that is so sultry. I call her our sultry, sexy singer because she's got a fantastic voice. And when you hear her sing, it is just so touching and it really touches your soul. And I just love Shimmer Soul. She's a sweetheart. She sings like an angel. Our open mic nights are absolutely amazing. Normally, they're Saturday nights around 7. There have been times when we've gone on spontaneously, like we did last night. I actually texted her and I said, I'm bored. Let's sing. So we did a late night uh, open mic last night, and it was fantastic. And uh, we usually have three or four people in the panel, and we all take turns singing. And even though, you know, I've been sick with my ears, but my voice has been pretty much okay. So I've been able to sing, and uh, it helps me not think about the pain in my ears. <laughs> and uh, it's just been really very, very healing and uplifting. So do do me a favor and subscribe to Shimmer Soul. She has great videos on different topics. She um, actually started talking about Benjamin Keough, who was Elvis Presley's grandson, who unfortunately committed suicide a few months back. And um, due to her talking about that and Lisa Marie Presley, She's gone up to over a thousand subs, which is really, really good. Once you reach a thousand subs and so many watch hours, you can actually monetize your channel. So I'm so proud of her for doing that. And I consider her a good friend and I love her so much. So that is definitely a good channel for you to subscribe to. I pass my time watching beauty channels, as you know, um, I have some favorites. I have Mrs. Melissa M. Beauty. I like her very much. There's another one called Jen Love. She used to be Jen Love's Reviews, but she recently changed her name. And I love her. She does a live every Sunday morning. And she talks a lot about makeup and skincare and things like that. And then one of my other favorites are the drama commentary channel. As you know, Adam McIntyre is my number one favorite commentary channel. Number two is Peter Mon. That's Peter M-O-N-N. -N. He is another commentary drama channel. Peter has six channels and Peter is an amazing human being. I love him. He has been in recovery for 25 and a half years. And this man has so much insight into human nature. Oh, he's so sweet, so down to earth. And I love everything about him. He's extremely uplifting. 
he can be annoyingly very, very peppy. <laughs> But people love him for it because he lifts everybody's spirits. If you go to his drama commentary channel, you're going to think, this guy is crazy. But he's just, he's happy with his life. He is married to a wonderful man. He, like he says, he is living his dream. He is so so happy in his life that he just exudes uh, happiness and peppiness. And if you are ever feeling depressed, all you have to do is watch Peter Mon and you will feel better within two minutes. So how do you recommend him? He's got six channels. He's got the, the drama commentary. He's got a Peterisms where he does... Um, what does he do? He meditates and he has little sayings that he does every day. He has a review channel. He has a Peter Does Stuff channel. He has a, a crime book club channel. And I'm trying to remember the sixth one and I can't remember. But uh, he, I just love him. He's one of my favorites. And then, let's see, I think that's about it. That's Melissa, Jen, Peter, and Adam. Those are my main channels that I watch. And then, of course, I love Jackson Galaxy, and I watch him because I love cats. And you know, I've got a new kitty cat, Winnie, and I love to watch his his old shows, My Cat from Hell. So subscribe to Animal Planet if you love animals, and you will definitely have some nice things to watch regarding animals. And that's kind of what I do with my life. Especially this week since I've been home. But you know, I'm pretty much a homebody anyway. So I just work two days a week. I love playing with my makeup. I love watching YouTube. I love Christmas. I have all my Christmas decorations up. It's my favorite time of year. It's going to be a kind of a sad Christmas this year for a lot of us, I think. Because there are so many travel restrictions right now. And to be honest, I really think it's a smart thing to do. So many family gatherings have started actual outbreaks. So please be smart this year. I know we want to be with our families for Thanksgiving and Christmas. But we really need to think about each other. Okay. Um... I watched this CMA Awards the other night. Everybody in the audience, nobody was social distancing, nobody was wearing masks, and a lot of people called them out for it. There are people in that audience who had had the virus, and nobody was wearing masks, nobody was social distancing. That is not smart. Why are not these celebrities, these YouTube influencers, not following guidelines and making everybody think that it's okay to go out with no mask and not social distance. That is a recipe for disaster. Please, everybody, the only way we are going to stay safe is to practice the CDC guidelines. Wear your mask when you're outside. I don't care if you're just getting out of your car and walking to the store. I see so many people get out of their car, walk to the store. They don't even put their mask on until they reach for the door. You are passing people as you're walking from your car to the door. All right. You can get this in your eyes. Are you aware of that, that you can get this in your eyes? Yeah, the masks can only do so much. And from what I've heard, these cute little cloth masks that we're wearing, like my Keith Urban mask, they aren't really helping a whole lot. They're only protecting you 30 to 40% of the time. Do you realize that? The only thing is a lot of us can't afford these, these N95 masks or these P95 masks that are on Amazon. They're expensive. Now, I am getting in an order of masks, and they're the three-ply ones, but what I intend to do is to double them up, okay? 
because that should give you a little bit more protection than just the three ply. The ones that really, really help are the ones that are five ply, okay? Because they have a lot more protection than cloth masks and these disposable ones that I've been wearing. So, yeah, this has kind of been a lesson today on what we need to be doing to prevent others from getting the virus, to protect us from getting the virus. This is just information that I've read, you know, over the past couple of months. And I am high risk, all right? I've had pneumonia three times. I almost always get bronchitis every year. My last CT scan actually showed a spot on my lung, which is scarring from pneumonia. So I am very high risk. So I was going to go to Ohio. Ohio is surging in cases. Absolutely not going to Ohio for Christmas this year. Not going to New York to be with my family. I'm staying right here. I'm 62 years old, almost 63 on Christmas Day. And I want to live for at least another 10 years if possible. So... And we want everyone to be healthy. Our children. So many children are not wearing masks here. And I'm like, they are susceptible too. Just because they're young and healthy doesn't mean they're not going to get it, right? So everybody needs to wear masks. All right. So Winnie says hi. She's like, oh, I was asleep. <laughs> Winnie says hello. She's doing great. She is using the cat tree. She is hanging out in the living room. She is hanging out with me on the bed. So she, I think she is 100% comfortable now and doing well. So we are having a good time together. So everybody please take care of yourselves have fun but be safe enjoy yourselves i love you so so much have a good night and i'll see you next time bye